All right, guys, this is Richard of Fish and Auto Channel and Reese.com. Hey guys, this is Raj from MRC. I'm taken over aficionado from Richard and hijacked for an interview with Brian. Brian Green. Uh, I'm a fish biologist from Hawaii. I just spent the last month in Palau collecting incredibly cool deep reef fish. Thanks to this guy, we were able to bring them up from 400 feet. Incredible incredible stuff. Well, you know, Matt Wendell really is the genius behind this. The giant oh, he is. He ginger is. genius. Yeah, he is. But, yeah. Matt was actually with me in Palau, yeah. and I, I, honestly, I could not pull off an expedition like that, collecting live specimens without somebody like you or Matt. Like, That's awesome. The technology that you guys make yeah. is key to what I do. Like, yeah, I, I'm but... a, so I do, I do this. I catch fish. <laughs> But but you do it really deep. And I do not, it very deep. There's not many people in the world that can actually dive that deep. Right, right. and I use one of these crazy apparatus. Which but is awesome. But like, the second half of what I do is yeah. what you guys make. Like the chambers and the tubes and all that stuff. We couldn't do it without you guys. What did you catch? Something cool. <laughs> I got some cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, made a pair of uh, Abai angelfish. First time ever. That's pretty rare. Yeah. Now if you think about the rarest fish you can think of it is way rarer than that. It is. Right? Honestly, like, uh, yeah. when, yeah, I was in Palau last month and uh, I think the two that I collected from Biota Aquariums were the seventh and eighth specimens ever collected. That's fantastic. How many were caught alive before that? Uh, two. By me. <laughs> I bet Tom's pretty excited about that. Tom's, Tom's very excited. Biota's incredibly excited. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the two I collected in Palau are now like doing their thing. One, one is about um, maybe an inch and a half long. The yeah. other one's about three inches long. And they're mating up. Nice. So hopefully so Tom's in like. Tom's got his very white playing right, in the background yeah, doing exactly, his thing. Exactly, exactly. So yeah. like hopefully in like a year. Maybe two years, they'll like magic. do their thing. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Awesome. So what's what's next on the target list? Anything interesting? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Next, next target is uh, pepper and angels. Pepper and angels. Whoa! So obviously, I'm a product and equipment junkie. So this stuff right here, that, this geeking out for me. But what's going on here? Tell oh, me this, about it. This, well, this is insane. This, this is the craziest, most amazing piece of equipment I've ever used in my entire life. So I've been diving rebreathers for probably 20, 25 years. Wow. Uh, this one is so compact. And the way it works is I breathe, I breathe through this mouthpiece and my, gas, my breath and my gas gets recycled through the equipment. Back here on the back of it is a CO2 scrubber that removes all the carbon dioxide that I breathe. Yeah. And then I have these tiny little tanks, one of which is oxygen, the other one is mostly helium. And this little compact little thing allows me to dive to 500 feet for five hours. That's insane, because these tanks are a fraction of the size of the tank that <laughs> yeah. I put right. on my wreck right. dives, you know, right. going down to 100 right. feet. Yeah, this is uh, 20 cubic feet. Nor uh, a normal scuba tank is 80 cubic feet. Yeah. And I can stay down for five hours on these tiny little tanks. Because I think I get about an hour. Right. Yeah, it's incredible. It's just, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's literally uh, what's happening here with the electronics back here, 
and all these sensors is exactly what's happening when an astronaut does an uh, EVA yeah. from the space station. That's cool. It's not, no joke, it's the same technology. That's awesome. I'm an aquanaut. Aquanaut. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes. That is the coolest thing ever. See, I thought it was really cool and I got my awesome titanium atomic Damn, stuff. I, know, and, you know, I love atomic. I love atomic. Yeah, yeah, I was like, good. oh yeah, man, yeah. I'm the coolest guy ever. Yeah. But this thing, this is ridiculous. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is yeah, awesome. so I've got, I've got a, here I can inject O2. Here I've got a solid state oxygen sensor. Um, I can uh, bleed the loop volume from there. It, it, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of training to actually dive one of these things, but I've been doing it for many years. Um, and so it but scrubs. it's the only way to dive. Yeah. In my opinion, it's the only way to dive. <laughs> so it scrubs the CO2, and what does the oxygen and the helium do? Okay, so in this center section, yep. where, they, where the, the chemical scrubs out the CO2, uh, the oxygen is controlled by the electronics here, and it replaces what you me metabolize. Yep. And then the helium is basically filler gas. So as as you go deeper, deeper in the water, yep. um, you need to have some kind of volume to make up. You know. Um, yeah. But the O2 is controlled by the electronics based on your metabolism. So instead of nitrogen, which right. is going to be in our air, go right. with helium, because why not have a cool helium voice? <laughs> no, 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 diving, no, no. Right? There's another thing, by the way. <laughs> uh, nitrogen will make you narked. Yes. It's very narcotic gas. Right. So we use helium. Uh, some people, uh, US Navy uses hydrogen. Not good, but um, the helium mixer we use allows us to be completely clear-headed at 500 feet. That's awesome. Like more, like yeah. more so than I am right now. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> nice expedition mascot. Nice. The official. First of all, you, you can get um, uh, decompressing sickness, so you get bent, which means uh, as you ascend from deep dives, inert gas will come out of solution in your body, and you get like bubbles in your bones, and yeah, it's yeah. terrible. I've done that. Um, I've spent many hours in a recompression chamber trying to get rid of that. The other issue with a rebreather is because we're diving, we're literally diving the highest concentration of oxygen that is survivable. So that you, you can end up with issues on a rebreather where the oxygen is too high or too low, which will also kill you. It's, yeah, I, I mean, it's not for everybody. So we all know that you've caught all these spectacular fish from the deep, but what is your personal favorite? Like, which one stands out for you? Definitely my favorite fish is Tosin Luiti's Obama. Obama. I never thought I'd be able to name a fish after a, a U.S. president, yeah. you know? Especially, like, it's, it's so cool to me because I've spent half my life in Micronesia, half my life in Hawaii, Obama's from Hawaii, yeah. It's, it, it was just perfect. That's just and, cool. Uh, so Richard Powell and I found this new species of antheus in Hawaii, which I never expected to find a new species in Hawaii ever. Like, maybe some kind of like tiny goby, but yeah. not a like beautiful pink antheus, you know? Well, never. they've explored that with, um, what, submarines? and. Yeah, it's yeah. Been, I, I mean, Hawaii's been, yeah, submarines, divers, ichthyologists for 60 years. Like, yeah. I just never expected to find a new species of fish in Hawaii. And, and to find one 
at the depths that we found it at. So Richard Pyle found the first specimen, uh, the male, at Curry Atoll. And the next day I found the female at Pearl and Henry's Atoll. So completely different atolls. 250 miles apart. Wow, that's insane. Yeah. That's insane. And then Dr. Sylvia Earle got to present yeah, so, President Obama. <clears throat> so when Obama, uh, one of the last things he did before he left office yeah. was to expand the Papahonau Mokuakea Northwest Hawaiian Islands uh, reserve area. So Very it's cool. like the biggest, yeah. I think it might be the biggest uh, protected reef ecosystem in the United States. Yeah, I can see that. So Obama flew up there and Sylvia Earle with National Geographic flew up there. Yeah. They wouldn't let us. <laughs> but Sylvia You didn't pass the, yeah, you didn't pass didn't, the sniff I didn't, test? I didn't, I didn't pass the test. <laughs> but uh, uh, Sylvia was able to like meet with Obama on the beach at, at Midway and present the picture. Yeah of the fish that uh, Rich Pyle, Randy Kosaki and I named after the president. Like, what the heck? That's, That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> that is just so cool. Yeah. That's so fun. super cool. So what, what happened with that? So he's, he, he has that picture now? He has that picture. Yeah. And uh, we sent, uh, for Randy, Rich, and I, we sent pictures to his presidential library in Chicago okay. that he signed and sent back to us. Oh, that's even cooler. Right. So we have, so Obama has a signed copy from us, yeah. and then he sent us signed copies from him. That's super cool. <laughs> so awesome. That is super cool. I can see why that's your favorite now. That's, that's an awesome story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, oh, I got I got a lot of favorites. <laughs> so tomorrow, tomorrow, um, uh, Tosinoni's and Patrice yeah. will be published. That's named after my mother. Nice. And then uh, next week, um, Lia Propoma Diana Rose will be named after my girlfriend. That's, Come on, can you just, can you not give regular guys a chance? <laughs> yeah. Girlfriend, yeah. mom, yeah. and a president. I'll name one after you. You gotta nice. come in the field with me okay. first. Deal. We'll do it. Deal. All right. Raj from MRC, checking out. Thanks for stopping in and, uh, you know, our hijacked version of Aficionado. Um, Brian Green, thank you so much for the yeah, interview. Thanks, Raj. You know, appreciate it's, you stopping by. Yeah, of course. It was fun talking. Anytime. Anytime I'm on the mainland. All right. It's very rare. Deal. We'll flag you down and do <laughs> yep. it again. Yep. Uh, guys, hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. And then Dr. Sylvia Earle presented that to Obama, right? Yes. Okay. At Midway. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. awesome. Yeah. That's just cool. Yeah. Right. Dude, so uh, we sent picture, that picture of like, the plate of the male and the female we yeah. sent to Obama and he signed it and sent it back to us. That's cool. <laughs> and the, the, the big picture is going gonna, is gonna to hang in fucking his library in Chicago. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> like, that's super the? cool. Yeah.